Hey guys, so I have been wanting to make this video ever since I started my channel because I love these products. They have definitely helped change my skin for the better and I know when I was looking into getting bare minerals for myself, I would have loved to have seen a review from a person with super oily skin like myself. Um, I did have all three of the powders to review for you guys. Um, one of them I didn't like, but I thought it was important to let you guys know why. Um, I also was just going to talk about strictly the um, powders on their own, but I think it would be better to have a more informative video um, so you get the best results um, with this uh, powder foundation. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the um, original foundation. Um, this is in last year's holiday packaging, which I do recommend that if you are wanting to get the original formula by the end of this video, definitely um, wait the couple months that it is until uh, this guy comes out because you do wind up getting a better deal. Um, I would say that, you know, one thing that put me off from getting this for the longest time was the fact that um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see um, on my phone, but it does have, in my opinion, pretty huge chunks of glitter, um, but that is definitely not something that transfers onto your face. Um, I will also say that in the beginning, you know, I wasn't extremely happy with this foundation, but um, I forgot to add that a huge reason why I, you know, was really wanting to make bare minerals work for me was because from the age of like 18, 19 on, um, I just had a lot, a lot of stress in my life and I started breaking out extremely. <laughs> so, um, from wearing liquid foundation every day and just not letting my skin breathe, you know, my primary focus was, you know, my actual skin and improving it. So, um, again, with the finish with this guy, um, I was definitely impressed with the coverage. This is definitely not a light coverage. I was expecting, um, sort of a BB cream and not the foundation like BB creams, but actual BB cream type, um, coverage. And that is definitely not the case. The, um, these products are definitely a solid medium coverage, um, almost to full coverage. I, you know, was always used to having a matte, fi uh, matte finish upon initial application. So um, switching over to a finish that was definitely a natural finish on the face, um, it was kind of a shock for me, but I have definitely grown to really love this foundation. I love the way that it feels when I put it on my skin, and um, I definitely don't feel it on my skin at all. Um, my favorite brush to use with this foundation is this Tarte Kabuki brush that is actually made for um, their powder foundation. This brush is expensive, but it is so good. It is really densely packed and it has super soft brushes. And I definitely, definitely recommend if you are going to make the investment or if you do pick up the original foundation and you do like it, I highly recommend this brush. It's in the same condition as when I first bought it and I've washed this guy so many times and I scrubbed the crap out of this guy to get it clean and it's still, you know, as good as the first day that I bought it. Um, and with this um, foundation, you will find that the more that you work it into your skin, um, the better it looks. I think being oily skin, I don't have to work as hard as, you know, girls with dry skin or normal skin that use this foundation, but I ought... The, the. I also think that um, in comparison with using this guy with other brushes, this brush is the best with him. Um, I also did want to add that if you are looking to um, extra conceal, you know, acne um, and stuff like that, um, the next powder that I will talk about will probably work out better for you. Um, with this guy, you know, this was the first guy that I was using and, um, you know, again, my main focus was to let my skin breathe. So I didn't do a whole lot of, you know, coverage when it came to like my big, uh, 
face demons. If you're wanting to conceal um, your blemishes a lot more, then probably the next foundation that I'm going to be talking about will work better for you. Um, I will say that with the original formula, um, with all foundations on me except for the Revlon Color Stay and, you know, of course setting that, um, I will have areas where, you know, I have larger pores or my skin is extra oily that makeup will kind of build up and um, you know accumulate with your oil and you know with regular foundation if you were to like kind of wipe that off you'd be left with a streak and what I love about these um, foundations is that you could you use you know clean fingers or like a paper towel and wipe it off and it blends in with your skin so I think that is so awesome about this um, this foundation also is the type of foundation that I could use over, you know, acne scarring or, you know, small blemishes and then, you know, it blends in with the rest of my face very well and I don't have to do, you know, a full face cover up. If you did want to, um, counteract that, you know, oil build up a little bit, I have found that, um, the, uh, Benefits Professional and the Smashbox, um, Photo Finish, primer um, are do work well with that when it comes to you know my um, pore areas or you know up here where I do get a little bit more oily the next foundation for those of you that you know war want or are wanting more coverage or you are a girl that you know does not do strobing does dot does not do any type of like highlight or anything like that this is the bare minerals um, matte foundation and this guy um, is a different formula than you know the original one of course and with that um, you do get a different type of texture this guy is still really soft but it's definitely not as smooth and silky as the original foundation with this guy my favorite brush out of all the brushes I tried is this um, eco tools travel kabuki brush um, it's still densely packed, but it's a little bit more um, fluffy, I guess you could say. Um, and that helps out um, blending this foundation more into your skin since it is a little bit, I don't want to say dry because it's not dry, but, you know, it's not as smooth as the other one. Um, I do find that with this foundation, I don't need to use any type of um, primer as long as I go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Power uh, Powder very lightly um, with this uh, little or big stipple brush very lightly on top. It does the job in counteracting all that oil buildup in those areas. Um, these guys work great together. I do think that this Laura Mercier powder is completely worth the investment because I use it, you know, with my Bare Minerals and I also use this, you know, as a setting powder with, um, my regular foundations and if you have really oily skin or you live in a place where it's humid, this guy is awesome. So like I was saying with the Bare Minerals um, Matte Foundation, um, I did find out that with the NYX HD Concealer, um, after applying this, you know, I want to cover up as much as possible with the foundation on its own. Um, and I do have, you know, spots that are like peeking through or anything like that. Um, this eight, NYX HD Concealer works perfectly and blends in perfectly with this powder. I absolutely love it and it's a matte finish as well. So lastly, before I uh, talked about uh, under eye concealers, I just wanted to quickly touch on this um, Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Foundation. Um, this powder was absolutely awful. I have no idea who this works for. I don't know if they have a specific brush that you're supposed to use with this guy, but this is so chalky and dry and I was expecting for this to work for me because of, you know, the tea tree oil and all that jazz, but it's horrible. I mean, you can try it, but I that's just an empty box. I wound up returning it to Sephora because I hated it. 
Um, so lastly, um, for under eye concealers, I will say that I have tried the um, Well Rested Powder, but that's a little bit too luminous and like, uh, yeah, too luminous for me. Um, I do like the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light on the days that uh, my under eyes are looking a little bit, you know, better. <laughs> um, and I like how light it is and how it blends in, you know, with the powder, but to be completely honest with you, once it runs out, I don't feel like I'm going to need to or I'm going to want to repurchase it. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm still on the fence with that guy. I do highly recommend, though, this um, Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. This works great underneath the eyes with um, regular foundation and actually with this powder foundation it um, blends really well into it. I have also tried it with um, the new um, Tarte concealer, which I'm not sure where it's at right now, but it has the giant, you know, doe foot applicator. And that works pretty well with it too. That is definitely a full coverage under eye concealer if you're looking for one. And you can blend it in well um, with the powder. It doesn't work as well as the uh, Fit Me though, in my opinion. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video if you made it all the way to the end and you have any questions or, you know, I didn't touch on anything, just, you know, leave me a comment below and if you use Bare Minerals and there's something that, um, you really like using along with it, um, please leave me a comment below. I would love to know and I hope you have a good day. Bye!